Welcome back to Breakfast Television. I'm Jenna Kahn with your City Entertainment Local Arts Update. It is officially spring break and there's lots to do around the city, including a Cirque du Soleil-esque show here at the Manitoba Theatre for young people. Zuzu is an internationally acclaimed production for kids four and up, set in an avant-garde playground. It mixes acrobatics with mime inspired by a Swiss mask theater troupe. Don't be surprised to see penguins playing musical chairs, hippos with insomnia, or anteaters as waiters. It's about our hometown uranium. And the Royal Manitoba Theatre Centre warehouse has something a little darker once you've put the kids to bed and are ready for your own night of theatre. Ride the Cyclone takes you on a wild ride when a teenage chamber choir dies in a roller coaster accident. A mechanical fortune telling machine feels responsible for their demise and gives the teens a chance to perform from beyond the grave. The subject matter is dark, of course, because the teens are dead in the piece, but they're brought back to life in the play, so uh, they don't spend a long time contemplating their death, they contemplate their life, really, so it's a celebration of life, and the piece is quite comedic. I think it's safe to say we're all suffering a little bit of cabin fever. The only prescription is a dance party. A local group is capitalizing on the failing and hosting a social here at the Windsor tomorrow night. All the money raised goes to help build cabins at the site of the Harvest Moon Festival in Clearwater, Manitoba. The town of Clearwater is tiny. It's only 68 people, and for the Harvest Moon Festival, it blossoms to 1,400 people. Um, so most people tent. However, tenting's not all for everyone. The environmentally friendly cabins will be constructed out of reclaimed lumber from an old settlement building. The cabins will also expand the Harvest Moon Learning Center, which offers year-round programming. Tomorrow's fundraiser will feature live bands and a silent auction. Knocking you down, I'm licking my lips. Local blues rocker Rami Mays gets up close and personal tonight at the Park Theatre for an intimate evening of music and conversation. Rami will be playing your favorite songs and answering questions alongside her guitar slinger, Jay Nowicki. She's ready to share basic stuff like how the latest record is coming together and get a little more personal and talk about what it takes to be a mother as a touring musician. The show is tonight at the Park Theatre and I'll be here to host the evening, field your questions and ask a bunch of my own. There are still tickets available. For Breakfast Television, I'm Jenna Kahn. We'll see you tonight.